Hello, everyone. Tonight, I'm going to do another tutorial on uh, Linux uh, client of MySQL and uh, MySQL server. So this tutorial will cover Linux Ubuntu with a MySQL client version and MySQL server version. And Linux um, Ubuntu is a great um, Linux operating system. Uh, as well as I did cover uh, Linux um, Red Hat Enterprise with MySQL client and um, MySQL server on an earlier video. Uh, this uh, video is also interactive. And this session I'm going to do in real time. So you will learn uh, the commands, how to install them, how to use them, what is the operating system information. And then uh, there's a lot of uh, details that I'm going to cover. Please stay tuned. And this uh, video is brought to you uh, at my web university, which is my channel uh, on youtube.com. So um, I want to also thank uh, those of you that already have subscribed and uh, make some comments. I really appreciate it. And the video that I made on uh, tutorial MySQL and MySQL uh, database uh, you could see that that was on a Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux version. And this video that I'm going to do it is uh, same thing, MySQL client, MySQL server. And instead of a Red Hat Enterprise, it's uh, Linux Ubuntu. And as you can see here, this is uh, the architecture uh, that Linux Ubuntu is the operating system. MySQL client will be installed and MySQL server will install. And I will make connection through local host. And then uh, for this one, the uh, Oracle database is also installed on the uh, uh, Linux Ubuntu server. And then that one, uh, you can also install Oracle databases, um, uh, Informix, Sybase, and other databases. And you can connect through SQL Plus, the uh, remote database connectivity uh, onto the uh, MySQL database server or Oracle database server as well. So um, the um, information that you're uh, learning as a developer is going to help you a lot of um, in a lot of different platforms. Whether you run uh, the MySQL on Linux Ubuntu or Red Hat or uh, even Mac or Windows operating system, you have a client server architecture. And um, this video is on Red Hat. The one that I'm currently making is on Linux Ubuntu. Again, this is my channel that you should be uh, subscribing if you haven't done so, because it's going to help you in a lot of topics uh, related to computer science, uh, development, and then uh, programming, IT uh, related jobs, and then um, databases, operating system, MySQL, uh, Unix, Linux, and then Windows, uh, Red Hat Rocky, Linux Ubuntu, Linux Fedora, there's all kind of information, as well as Windows, PowerShell, and then PDF files, the entire book on um, power, uh, shell scripting, the entire books on Linux uh, Ubuntu, the entire um, books on um, Red Hat, Rocky, as well as uh, PDF, uh, 32,000 Atlas, or 32,000 PDF files uh, that are uh, available for you. Uh, all on my website. You can come in here and then just search for um, related documents or videos. So if you go on this one, you click on the next. Here I have a book called uh, The Direct Path to Linux Ubuntu. And this one is uh, about 13 chapters. As you can see here, the table of contents. Uh, the name of the book is The Direct Path to Linux Ubuntu. And the table of contents, you can see preface. Chapter one is the Unix operating system, chapter two is the basic uh, Linux commands, about 33 commands, and then um, with the videos as well. And then uh, chapter three is intermediate Linux, another 33 commands uh, of intermediate level. And then chapter four is advanced, about 88 uh, commands with um, videos as well. And then chapter five is shell scripting, chapter uh, six is a Unix uh, web server, which is Apache web server and how to do build Apache from source and how to do it from the um, package management installation, as well as um, 
the manual pages on Linux Ubuntu and everything all you can see here, the documentation is goes on and on. Uh, and today I'm going to show you also chapter 12, the dynamic uh, version of a PDF file that as you click on this uh, chapter uh, 12, you will see that uh, every Linux command, where there's about 7,000 Linux command uh, on Ubuntu, 12,000 on uh, Red Hat, those ones were right here, like 12,000 on uh, Red Hat, for example, dynamic uh, generation, look at this one, chapter 11, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you can see about uh, 12,000 PDF files here, all in a very nice format based on the table of contents, so whatever is um, the one like section one or section two, this is section two, the first one was section one, and you can see for them, in each one of the section one, for example, as something dot one, manual pages dot one. And section five, for example, would be section five of it. So um, everything that you're looking for, it is um, on this one, but uh, this is uh, operating system information. Uh, however, chapter uh, 12 that I did, I wrote this one for the purpose of uh, like, let's say you're looking for the operating system like bash command, you can click here and then just uh, the a bash uh, PDF file will be generated by my program dynamically and you click on it and now I open the bash uh, born again shell uh, manual pages in PDF format. Otherwise you have to be sitting in front of a Linux Ubuntu machine then do man bash for example and then uh, you'll still get it in a text mode. For example if I go to the virtual machine that I'm currently running, it's a Linux Ubuntu, and log in on my screensaver to it. And then uh, this is uh, just a terminal. So like, uh, for example, let's say uh, I come in here, you see cat etc lsb dash release. It says this is Linux Ubuntu version 22.04. You can also do cat etc os dash release you get more detailed information. Jamie Jelly Fish's code name LSB release is a little bit shorter. It is really nice to uh, get that information. Uh, LSB dash release um, is also a command that you can say, give me that information with all of it. And then you can see that it says that uh, after uh, LSB dash release is not installed. Uh, so yeah, I have to do apt install to uh, get that information. Uh, and then um, the uh, release name, Deviant version of it. So uh, at this time, uh, I'm fine with uh, not installing it because this file, uh, lsb-release, already gave me all the detail. But uh, on another video, I make uh, apt install because I want to just show you uh, Ubuntu uh, related to MySQL, MySQL client in this session. So let's just um, show you quickly what we have here. If I just go and make the size one more screen bigger, that way you could just uh, see a little bit nicer uh, fonts. And so I'm logged on as uh, Wahid. And then my group ID and group name is also Wahid. So at this time, if I say get end password and then password Wahid, I'll get this information as well as if I just do um, saying that uh, ID dash UN uh, in the back tick. And the same information, I can also get it at a dollar sign and then uh, ID dash uh, UN as a subshell. So those arguments uh, become an input of get in and give me the information. I don't need uh, that information, but in every system that you log in, you wanna make sure you understand what is the operating system um, that you're uh, running currently. Your name minus A also give you that information. Your name minus R uh, gives you the uh, kernel belt. Your name dash M machine type. Your name dash P platform. Your name dash, um, let's say S for system, uh, dash S, uh, dash S for system. And then your name dash uh, O for operating system and version and so on. You can get a lot of the details, but what is important is that when you do A, it gives you all of it, right? So at this time, I'm going to say, well, that is uh, there. 
My system uptime is just um, an hour and 15 minutes ago. I booted it up and there I brought it up. These are uh, demo machines that I built up on a, a host operating system. In this case, the host operating system, if I open a command prompt and I run the system info and then find slash I say OS name, you can see that uh, the operating system is uh, Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows 11 professional edition. And if I wanna just see that memory, for example, that memory is also 32 gig. I can uh, show you this one is 32 gig. And I have allocated about uh, 16 gig for this virtual machine. So if I say, uh, show me the model, you can see the model is um, uh, Intel 64 bit uh, gen, which is uh, 3.4 gigahertz. This information is telling me that yeah, I am using Windows. I can also get like device manager here. On the device manager, you can see, for example, on the number of processor, if I click here, there's eight processor uh, with uh, Intel 7 core at 3.4 gigahertz, 11 generation and the 64 bit operating system. There's other information that I can get about the computer, the host name, all that thing, and the host name is algorithm. Or I can also uh, do some of them from command line. So from command line, I could type in host name, I could get it. And then if I just am uh, done with that information, I could come back on virtual machine, which is these VMs that I'm currently running a virtual machine as a gas operating system on top of the uh, Windows operating system. So this is one when Microsoft Windows uh, uh, 11 that is hosting uh, my web university as a gas virtual machine. The gas virtual machine is uh, Linux Ubuntu in this case. And then you can see it has about eight uh, gigabytes of memory and four processor. I could have just increased the memory at this time. I have to shut down and just uh, change it. Uh, but uh, with eight gig, I still could install my SQL, my SQL client. Uh, it would give you more memory. Um, uh, if you run it with more memory, it's much better. So let's just do that one. I'm going to just say, if I just say free here, notice the memory is only 7.8, 7 gig and about uh, 1.3 gig is used for the operating system. Another 1.4 uh, is available. That's not enough for it, for me to just install everything. Uh, it is it is still gonna install my SQL and everything, but I wanna just uh, allocate more memory because out of the memory that I have about 32 gig, 16 gig, I want to just allocate it in this uh, um, virtual machine. Because it's demo purpose, I can bring it down and uh, start it again. And you can see that the memory is uh, smaller footprint, so I'm going to do that one. At the same time, if I just say that slash uh, prop slash swaps, uh, I have some swap space to a uh, two gig. That's not... Uh, uh, cool also I could add more swap space and everything but again this is demo I just will be fine even if I just do it now so let's just do a couple of more things we look at the processor LS CPU you can see that the number of CPUs that are there I have allocated the, the number of CPUs and then also clear screen uh, so if I say cat slash prop slash mem info, you can see the memory information about 15 gig um, and they're um, all together. Let's see why it was saying free dash um, H. Yeah, 7.7, .7, it's not free. So let me just see why uh, this one, if I say head minus five, the first five lines, it's eight gig, not 15 uh, earlier. It was the amount of uh, memory free was 1.4. I thought it was 15. So that is what uh, was misread. But when you do um, cat slash prop slash CPU info, here you can also say more. And you can see the number of sampling here is uh, how many are there. There are four of them, I believe. Uh, so CPU family is until six, uh, four. And then uh, so... You see, see a processor one, processor two, 
processor three and then uh, it started with zero. So four processor and then the number of core CPUs is four here. You can see that also. And then at this time, I'm gonna just uh, say, let's shut down this one and shut down minus H and now I'm gonna shut it down. You can power off or you can do halt because I'm not running anything. I could have just done shut down, it's faster. You could have also gone on the um, stop and say power off, but it's not running anymore. So I'm gonna go change the setting here and then I'm going to go system. Notice the memory is eight gig, I'm gonna move it to 16 gig. And then 16, three, eight, four is that's good 16 gig. Everything else in terms of processor is four of them out of eight, that's good enough. So I'm gonna just say, okay. Let me move this one up a little bit. Yeah, okay is right here. And then I click on it. Sometimes the zoom uh, is just blocking my eyes, but you can see everything. So now um, I'm going to just start it again. And this is gonna start the virtual machine, which is Linux Ubuntu. This is the notification information. I don't need that information. I click on it and then um, right now is uh, virtual uh, box 7.0 is loading the virtual machine uh, into memory. And then once it is loaded into memory, it's uh, ready for me to use it. Right now it's uh, going through the boot process, uh, initial run disk and all the grab uh, stuff. And then once it is uh, just there, I could log in. It's going to be less than a minute usually. Uh, so it is uh, really fast um, to bring it up. Unless you're running a lot of resources and a lot of other tools uh, that are uh, there. It, if it takes longer, then you can stop it and then start it again. It will be the next time it will be more efficient. I believe it should come out any second. Yeah. And, um, as I was saying that it is um, there now, you can just log in. So I'm logging in with the user ID of Wahid. And then um, I, uh, I give the password now, then so one to comes in. And notice this time um, the cursor is a little bit different than the other one, but it's gonna change. It is just still loading stuff uh, so, and that is there. Under activity, if I click on this one and then just say uh, right click and open a terminal, I click on something else rather than terminal. So my um, uh, cursor has uh, changed by, by itself. Now the cursor is automatically corrected. So by default, it drops me to um, desktop directory which is uh, that I'm going to go to my uh, home directory. Echo dollar sign home is also pointing to that one. I'm gonna do shift control plus to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And then um, at this time, clear screen ID dash UN is uh, Wahid. So if I say which my SQL, my SQL is not installed on this one. If I say man my SQL, it is uh, not uh, available. But uh, uh, my SQL uh, on the website that I showed you, it is uh, coming from my web university, Linux Ubuntu. So don't just be uh, thinking that I'm going to do the demo at my web university. No, even though this is uh, uh, my web university as the demo version or development version of my web university. So what I'm going to do is, um, install this one. So when I say man MySQL or man MySQL dump or man MySQL D, all of those ones will show up, right? So a lot of these ones right now, it says no such file, no manual pages. And then uh, similarly for MySQL uh, pump or any commands that is uh, related to that one, it is not available, but let's do this. I'm going to clear screen, say, uh, at this time, I need to install my SQL. In order to install it, I have to change my ID to become root. I could do so, uh, switch user dash and uh, become a root here, a root here, or I could do a, with a sudo, a su dash, meaning that uh, switch user with a sudo, since I'm on the sudo or files, I type in my 
uh, password for Wahid, and now I am root. And you can see that the ID dash uh, group name is also root. And then if I say get end password, that dollar sign um, ID dash UN, this time is going to give me uh, as if I'm uh, ID dash UN is showing the command root. So get end password is giving the entry for uh, root information, right? Similarly, if I do the back tape or other ones, doesn't matter. So let's go to this one, say, okay, now let's see what is the free uh, says. Now it says about 15 gig. And if I say, okay, that slash prop slash you know, mem info, and then uh, head minus five, this one is says about 16 gig uh, there. This information is somehow on the um, Proc file system, the uh, Linux kernel is holding some information. So you will not get exact number that you have allocated or what is available to you at, uh, all the time. The heap and other ones could grow and shrink based on the process gets loaded here. So you can see the virtual memory area here and the resident portion and the shared portion. So every process that running a process ID with it and then the owner of the process that are running and then uh, how much CPU it takes and uh, what is the percentage of memory and how much time on the CPU it is running and then what is the priority and the nice and then the status of it. So watch my videos on top and H top uh, for this information uh, so you understand if there's any zombie process or any process that become defunct, what to do with it. I uh, give that information in detail. So at this time, I'm gonna say app, because the package manager for this one is app, application package toolkit. This is Ubuntu. On the other one, I uh, could have used YAM or DNF or RPM, but mostly I use uh, DNF to install the packages because I wanna know uh, what is on the repository here. So the repository of this one, if I say uh, ls minus l etc uh, apt, and there's a, a file called sources.list, uh, and then this one sources.list is the name of the packages that are available. So you can see cat apt um, sources.list. This one is telling you all the uh, Ubuntu repository. Notice that there's pound in front of it and the one that or not commented uh, or the one that are available. In order for you to get all that list of the one that are not um, commented, you could say uh, grip minus a V, meaning that uh, if I just do a grip here and then say um, uh, um, um, back tick, uh, uh, like, oh, uh, not back tick, sorry, and core and that one and say start with the pound, the first character, it started with uh, that one, it will show all of them that has the pound in front of it. But I want to say, uh, do that one with grip minus V to reverse it. Inverse it is saying that whatever is a uh, pound um, and the first character don't show that line. And, and by not showing that line, you know that whether the Debian repository that is available for you for code jammy jellyfish and that we uh, looked at it earlier, these are the repository. So when I just do um, app search, it's gonna search on this repository and then for MySQL, and it's gonna try to find out what is the MySQL uh, client to, to install, what is the MySQL server. And if I do the same thing for MySQL server, uh, server, then you could uh, see the list of MySQL server. And notice MySQL dash server is the one and then my SQL client also, uh, when I did this one with this, if I say grip minus i 8.0, there's um, all of the one that is uh, 8.0 with common and other ones are going to show. So at this time, I'm gonna say uh, app install my SQL first. And let's install my SQL. And then it says unable to locate package my SQL. Okay, so if it is not finding uh, MySQL, let's see first uh, to see, make sure that I'm on the network. Net stat minus RN, and then I say 
pinged at google.com and then I can see that I'm on the network, right? I could say, and let's look up, um, uh, let's say google.com, I will get an IP address. So at the same time, I'm going to do um, uh, this one with my SQL server first. And because my SQL server might have both the client and the server on Linux Ubuntu. So by installing my SQL server, you also get the client version. Let's see if that's the case. And uh, some other videos, I also installed my SQL shell, which is a combination of JavaScript and uh, Node.js and Python and my SQL and other ones, uh, SQL based. Uh, so make sure that you watch that one for further help on uh, my SQL shell. And then uh, at this time, it is just going through the packages for my SQL uh, server. And notice that it creates a file called etc mysql my.cnf. This is the, basically the uh, connecting a string of uh, the instance name information and other ones. Usually if, when you're installing uh, mysql, this file is important and that you have to I remember. So if I just say ls minus latc mysql my.cnf.conf, and then you can see that is symbolic link to alternative. Um, but if I say cat uh, etc mysql my.cnf, and then you see the content of that one is basically the mysql and it's uh, etc mysql conf.d and the other ones that includes uh, those ones uh, there. There's a very small uh, information. You can also have a tilde of my conf for the uh, specific user. If you have your own uh, setting, you can just enable it there. So at this time I say at list my SQL that server to see if it is installed or not. And then, um, so it says that it is uh, installed right here, right? It is installed here. So I say which my SQL D and it is my SQL D is installed already. So which my SQL, it is also the client is there. So if I say file user bin my SQL D, you can see it's an executable, cannot uh, open the directory. Uh, and that, uh, actually it is S bin and not system binary. So that's executable. Similarly, the my SQL is, um, my SQL is on the user bin directory. That's also executable link format. You can get other information like LDD on it, another one to find out the shared object file, like LDD user has been my SQL D. You can see all the shared object and uh, PLDD for the process of them, PMAP, PWDX and other stuff. But let's just uh, make sure that first of all, my SQL is um, status of my SQL D to see if it is um, a service is there. So notice on Linux Ubuntu, it is not called my SQL D. On previous video, when I did it, it was called my SQL D on Red Hat, but on Linux Ubuntu, it's called my SQL itself. And notice that it is already running because when I installed it, it already enabled it. So uh, it enable meaning that it is available after the reboot, it's gonna come and up and run. So right now my SQL D is running and you can see it's here uh, is the process ID is going to show. Um, the uh, process ID is uh, 6031 and then uh, main process ID is 6039. So if I look at the, uh, do a PS minus EFA uh, grip, uh, Let's do an e grip, e grip uh, for either process uh, 60 and 60, 31 or uh, 60, 39. And either one of them, it's going to find out. Uh, so 60, 39 is running uh, right now uh, as the main process. And then if I just do a LSOF on it, LSOF minus P and then the process ID of 6039, then you can see all the details of that one here uh, with the MySQL uh, processes that are uh, listening to this one. I could also look for the word listen for this one um, through 
let's start as well as other ones. So I could say let's start minus a n for all crosses, grip minus so I listen, and then you can see all of the ones that are there or listening. I could just say grip minus i my sql let's see if the process of my sql shows up and you can see that my sql is running uh, on the process as well so the socket that is there it is my sql dot sock and that is on board run my sql d that is the process uh, there uh, as a socket so if i say uh, grip minus i my sql ETC services, then I would know that uh, 3306 is the uh, process ID for it. I mean, the uh, port number, not process ID. The port number, so I could say LSOF minus I and then colon uh, 3306. So 3306, you can see my SQL um, listening to it. And this is the pro, uh, process that showed up with system uh, CTL, system CTL status, MySQL D. So we can trace uh, these details, MySQL. And you can see that the process ID um, that it says that this um, main process ID is 6039 and right here is 6039, okay? So let's go. And uh, now connect to that MySQL and say, which MySQL? Now you can say man MySQL. You can see that it is the manual pages available here. So you can see that one. But I made it on a PDF format for you on uh, my website. So you don't have to go on a Linux machine, and install it in order to see the manual pages. And the nice thing about that PDF file, you can come up here and say, uh, show me for MySQL. Uh, admin, for example, all the MySQL admin page, you will just, I create it for you on the fly and you can just read it, the whole thing. Notice this um, admin page is about 13 page long. And then at the bottom, if you hear there's any um, uh, links like this one. So the author uh, at the time that uh, or, uh, says Oracle Corporation, MySQL was purchased by Sun Microsystem uh, back in the uh, 2000 something and then 2011 uh, Sun Microsystem and Oracle merged. Oracle bought Sun Microsystem which owned uh, MySQL and then uh, Star Office and Microsoft Office and uh, there's a lot of other uh, virtual box and other ones, a storage tag and then Java, uh, Sun Solaris, all of those operating systems were uh, at one point Sun Microsystem and the database MySQL was also, but then uh, Larry Elson when uh, uh, purchased um, Oracle, he named uh, Oracle Sun Microsystem to back to Oracle at some point and uh, now maintaining all MySQL database for mid size to um, large size or to small size, but mostly on the mid size of databases on the MySQL uh, SQL stand for a standard query language or uh, SQL, you can also say MySQL uh, is uh, a standard query language as uh, a structured query language. The reason it's called the structured query language, I taught uh, MySQL, Oracle at the university levels and also at um, uh, uh, companies I worked with for 30 years, I have been using it for really long, not MySQL, but Oracle and other ones since um, the 90, maybe 94 or 95, I've been using uh, Unix and Linux and uh, Linux is uh, after 90 something, 92, 93, but um, 94, maybe I uh, used, um, uh, I'm sorry, 84, 84, I used um, Unix. And then um, at the college and when I did my master degree in 86, um, then I was uh, using um, my SQL, not my SQL, Oracle database. And then I taught some classes in um, 99, I think it was at uh, Cal State Fullerton for Oracle database. And then later on in um, National University, my SQL and uh, programming languages and operating system. So I did cover a lot of that one um, on different school uh, that I taught, whether it was at Pasadena City College or at Cal State Fullerton, uh, 
I did a number of operating system and uh, C, C++, Python, and then uh, the color uh, state Fullerton. I did Oracle and stuff. So I know the details of it, but notice that here, this link is very cool. You can click on it and you get, uh, get the documentation right away. And you might be just saying that, uh, how about this? Uh, this is also cool. Yeah, this is cool. But the way the developer did, there's a small a typo here. Can you guess what the typo is? dev.mysql.com. That's not the typo. HTTP. That's uh, unsecure, but it is uh, not a typo. But notice when you click on it, the left pr uh, pr uh, pr uh, parentheses dot and becomes part of this link because he should have put a little bit of space the url should be uh, just the url this should not be the right uh, bracket or parentheses uh, right uh, parentheses and dot is not part of the url there should be a space here so if you're the author please correct that one on this one and then it will uh, be just showing up correct but if you're a developer or a user, uh, don't uh, uh, just panic here or just don't be like a novice user say, oh, this page says page not found. So it is an error. No, it is not. Just remove that one. You will get to the page that he wanted you to get. So that's HTTPS dev.mysql.com as the documentation was pointing out. There should have been a space there after the URL. And so, when you click on it and you get a lot of documentation, you can see that for different ones of them that you can just get that information. And then um, here, when I uh, put this information, you can also get uh, like, for example, let's say I did my SQL admin, you can say my SQL, uh, let's say um, uh, dump for uh, doing my SQL dump command. And then a lot of the my SQL related commands uh, on the fly, I generate it for you. And then if you want to get further detail, the code reusability again is there. You just have to take the right parentheses after you click on it, just take it out and then just uh, uh, adjust that one. And then now if you want to go to planet.mysql, uh, go there. If you want to go to downloads, you can go there. And if you want to see uh, documentation, there's thousands of documentation available for uh, everything that you want to do with MySQL. So as far as documentation is concerned, all you have to do is come on my website. I generate it for you for one, then you can just go to the links uh, and then stay there forever, <laughs> days and months and years, because there's so much documentation available for you. And then here, if I just want to uh, get another command, obviously, I could type it in, but let's uh, me show you something here on the uh, command line. So when you install MySQL, uh, obviously, in addition to documentation, you get these binaries, right? So let's just correctly log in here. And then, um, as you can see here, the man pages, I could say man MySQL uh, pump, for example. And then you get uh, those commands. Notice on the MySQL pump command when you're doing it or MySQL dump command, some of the examples, they give you a lot of uh, information. So on different videos, I'm going to make uh, different videos for you uh, to show you what does MySQL dump do, what does MySQL admin do, my, what does MySQL uh, Dom do my what is my SQL show do all of those ones I'll show you but uh, I need more people to subscribe and watch it so I don't spend my time for uh, uh useless uh, uh, when I make these videos I want people to enjoy learning from it and then make some nice comment so I could uh, see some value in my work uh, otherwise it's uh, useless to just keep making videos and uh, nobody's showing interest. So let's get to uh, the business of um, which MySQL here. So at this time, if I do this one, I could say also which MySQL dump, uh, my, which MySQL admin. Notice that they're mostly on the bin directory or sbin. Only the system binary is uh, MySQL D dump. 
uh, I mean, uh, D for uh, this. So what is uh, nice is that you can say uh, my user Ben star MySQL, and then you can see there's a lot of uh, MySQL binaries that are all uh, here um, available for you. So uh, I wanna show you one more thing here. And the commands that are showing as uh, the name of the files. So if I say uh, what type of file they are, I'm going to say op and then print dollar sign nine. Dollar sign nine and list all of them. So at the same time, if I just uh, send this one to a X arc, uh, X arcs, and then say um, run uh, checksum on it. And then you can see that the checksum of these uh, files are there. So at the same time, you could say, run this one instead of checksum, run a SHA-1 sum. And you can get a SHA uh, hashing code for them. A lot of these ones, you can also say, uh, show me the type of file they are. And you can see here, when you do that type of file, they're showing that it's executable link format and some of them are a symbolic link, some of them are executable link format, right? So that is uh, telling you all the details of this. At the same time, uh, let's just uh, say, okay, these files are there. I wanna do a ls minus L, uh, ls command. ls on it, so you can see that these are binaries there. I could have just done, uh, rather than this, um, this ls was unnecessary to pipe it to this uh, when I could have done this. And I could have just they say ls here, a short form. So by doing this one, a short form, I'm getting in the information saying that these are the program that are there. Notice one of them is called MySQL Secure Connection, uh, Secure Installation. And that one, if I just say um, a man, MySQL underscore secure underscore installation is going to say after that you installed MySQL, you want to just make it secure. So everything that is anonymous uh, account and other ones, you want to remove those ones so you could have it ready for production. And then it is telling you all these uh, option questions that are being asked and you can just answer it. I will show you how to use that one to do it. But first, let's say at uh, this time on root, I'm going to just run it as root. So I say MySQL um, dash U dash um, um, P, uh, U uh, is the root user and dash P for password. So then I type in my root password, which is uh, the same password. Now I'm connected to the MySQL database. And notice it gives you some kind of help Say you can type in help or slash H. You can type in uh, slash C or clear. So if I just wanna um, get uh, to run the operating system commands here, um, you can type in help here and operating system, you can see that this, uh, this uh, one is uh, system or slash and this uh, command. So if I wanna just say slash uh, tilde and then clear command, you can see my uh, operating system. If I say host name, you can see I'm at my web university. If I say man MySQL um, command, you can see the manual for MySQL. So any command that you could do, you could also type in system MySQL. That would do the same. Sorry, system man MySQL because I have to do manual pages. System clear screen. System um, PWD system um, uh, host name, uh, uh, sorry, host name, uh, I, I mistyped the system. So system is like this host name or uh, do that one. So system, clear screen. And then at this time, let's do a system calendar command. I know that system date command. So you could get all that information, but at the same time, since I'm inside my SQL, I'm going to say system clear screen. And then I say, um, at this time, let's just do status. 
status of uh, the MySQL, you could say that connection ID is A, and then some of the uh, current user is root at localhost. So I log in on this one, and then the Unix socket is varlet mysql D, uh, dot soc that is there. The server characters are defined here. The version of MySQL is 8.0.36. Those are important information that you should uh, know. And then at this time, if I just say, okay, um, what are the system uh, system clear? And what are the detail of this one? I say, show databases. So uh, you could say show something. So show databases is going to show that uh, MySQL and uh, says and performance schema, everything is there. At this time, if I want to use one of them, let's say I want to use, uh, uh, use uh, MySQL itself, the database instance. So at this time, I just uh, use the database. If I say show uh, tables, um, the list of tables, you can see there's 37 tables. And one of the, the table is DB, for example, one of them is host, and one of them user. Let's see if uh, there's a, a database called host. So I could, or servers. Um, let's see if uh, say describe uh, host. Is that the host is there? No, host is not there. Describe host. Host is not there. So um, uh, system clear. What uh, out of those 37 table, I can see, for example, describe DB is there. And DB has those uh, fields. So uh, host is one of the field on the uh, DB. So if I say select uh, host, comma db comma user uh, from a db you will see that information there uh, all the information and then uh, since the instance name is um, mysql.sys i'm using the sys module right so if i say use uh, no i was using mysql so if i say use sys mo uh, uh, database now database change show tables here I can see that all the tables are there. So these are the dictionary tables about other uh, uh, tables. So some of them are very uh, cool stuff. You can see that the schema stuff and then X, some sessions, a dollar sign session and then post summary and so on. All of those ones, I'll cover a lot of them on different uh, tables. Let's look at the version. So in this one, it says, um, what is in the um, version for system.version, you can see that this one is uh, sys version and then MySQL version. So I could say select the start from uh, version. And you can see that it is saying that uh, the version is 8.036 of 122.04 is the host name. And you can see here, if I say system host name, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, cat etc um, lsb dash release then you can see that it's open to 22.04 also so a lot of information whether you're inside mysql or outside or uh, looking at the tables you can get that information if you find the right table like for example describe x uh, dollar sign session what is inside that one you can see that that table is a lot of fields here. So some of the fields that are important to me at this time, a connection ID, user, and DB, uh, and then the state. So look at the connection underscore ID, user, DB, and the state. Let's do this one. Select um, uh, connection, connect ID, comma, DB, comma, um, post, was it host? Uh, I believe it was host, but let me just see. Uh, oh, user and DB and then state, no host. So um, um, DB and then uh, user and then also, um, what was the other one? Uh, DB user and uh, state from uh, sys dot um, X the dollar sign 
uh, session. And then let's see in the field uh, connect ID is mistyped uh, what it was the field name, whatever is the con, con uh, ID. So I'm going to just uh, do the app arrow here. And then here, uh, and instead of connect, it's con ID. And you can see that um, the connection ID as it was showing on the status, uh, status here, it was showing eight. And then the same command that here, we did this uh, connection ID is eight and the database name is sys since I uh, did on the sys and then the username is root at localhost and right here is root at uh, localhost current database is sys and then executing this. Now let's change the use um, my SQL and notice that if I just uh, I'm on the my SQL and then I do the same command that I did here um let's just um move this thing away so i can see it better okay now i can see that better so i could say up arrow here and then on the uh select since i'm connecting to the mysql if i do says this is still work but notice that it shows the database change from says to mysql however since I was connected on the sys, I didn't need to put the sys or, uh, here. Um, but when I'm connecting to the MySQL, I do need this one. So in order for me to just uh, run it without this one, it's not going to work because x dollar sign session is not defined on the DB MySQL uh, instance. So now I have to switch user. If I want to run it inside this, I have to do it like that saying go to the uh, SES uh, database and find the table x dollar sign session good to do it. Now, if I want to just switch it to uh, use it without the name of the database, I could say use SES and then and now uh, run this one without it, it will still work. Notice that uh, I'm not giving the database instance because I said use SES. I'm inside the sys module. And that's why this one says the database is current is this, and then the uh, instance ID. So these are important stuff that you could uh, practice and do it. Uh, but at this time, like for example, let's say in the sys uh, table, if I say show um, tables, I could just say one of the table here that interests me, let's say the version, uh, say select, uh, start from version, and then I could create tables from uh, this one to just exactly match that one, or uh, just create a view only for the MySQL version. So let's uh, say create a view, and then I'm going to say MySQL version, the name of the view, and then uh, from a version, and then um, I have to say select uh, my SQL version from uh, version. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a view. The view name is my SQL uh, version, which is read only on this view. And then it's going to point to this field, uh, my SQL version from version. Now, when I press enter, it says something, um, okay, um, SQL uh, syntax, check the manual. Okay, for example, um, you have an error in your SQL syntax um, to your MySQL server version, the right syntax to use is select. Uh, okay, so let's see if I did select, uh, select MySQL version from, okay, from version. Um, Select, create, select my SQL version. Uh, my SQL version from version. Select. Maybe as a typo. Select my SQL version from version. Uh, I don't see a typo here. Create view. Let's call it uh, something. Uh, just the shorter one. My SQL. Um, my SQL version. Ver. And then um, still it's complaining this one, select 
um, I'm going to say as uh, select this um, within this information and then see it, it might still say yeah so this as is uh, the one that was needed and then select this one so now it says that um, uh, row affected is zero but uh, now describe uh, the name is my SQL bird and then when I do that one describe uh, my SQL bird and then you can see it is there. So here I just missed a C after the describe. You have to type it correctly. So here it says the MySQL ver is there. So if I say select a star from MySQL ver, and it will just show the MySQL version, that's a view. At this time, if I don't need it, I could say drop a view, MySQL ver, and that will be a, a drop. Then I commit it. So the database uh, is uh, autonomous and the change is made. So here, if I say, let's just exit out of this one. I want to uh, get out and then I want to log out here and then just say, as a regular user, can I connect to the database instance? And I could say um, system CPL status MySQL uh, server. It is running. So I'm going to say MySQL minus u, if I just uh, say minus u, um, root minus p, that's all I need, right? A root at local host, I, I could uh, say that one. And my, minus uh, p, and then the password, I could uh, just type in the password. Now, uh, not getting connected here. Why? Um, even though I did it the one, uh, let me just say, I'm gonna try it um, at a local host and then uh, type in the password. Maybe I type the password inaccurately. Uh, access denied root at local host, uh, at a local host uh, there. So this access denied is as a result of uh, the password um, for uh, regular user Wahid uh, that I'm uh, at this time. So let me just try the password of uh, root. And it says that it is not allowing me to connect with that one using uh, password. So ID-UN, this one uh, I have to grant it. There's a data control language that you have to get, grant that the user Wahid uh, connect uh, to uh, the local host. And then uh, certain uh, access has to be given in order to connect it. But in order to, uh, to run it with the Admin, I need to uh, just do one more thing here. A user, user uh, Ben, MySQL, notice there was one that I told you about uh, MySQL connection to make it secure here. I have to get rid of all the old stuff here. So let's just do uh, switch user dash root. I'm going to type in uh, the password. I could do sudo or I could do uh, root, doesn't matter. And uh, now I'm on root here. I'm going to say uh, which MySQL uh, dash underscore secure underscore installation. So when you want to make your uh, installation secure, you have to run this command called MySQL secure underscore installation. And that one um, is going to prompt you for do you want to uh, validate the password? Uh, obviously, I want to say yes. And then it says, okay, the length of the password, it should be uh, low, zero, or uh, medium, or strong. I want a strong password. And then um, remove the anonymous password. Yes, I want to remove the anonymous password. And this allow root login on the remote side. Yes, I don't want to allow remote login. Whether you're doing SSH or MySQL or uh, SSH to the console, don't allow root access because if somebody get into uh, root access with the re uh, remote connection, then they can just uh, make a lot of damage in your system. Please don't do that. Uh, allow regular user as uh, uh, with the remote uh, connection, but not root. And so remove test database uh, and access 
Stuart, uh, yeah, you want to just uh, don't need to remove the stuff. Reload privilege tables, yes, the MySQL admin is going to do flash. The, everything is done now. So now my database is uh, good. So I can say MySQL minus your root minus P and then specify the password. And we're connected to the database. And then again here say uh, show um, databases. You can see there, and this time I'm going to say use MySQL and then um, show uh, tables. And this time let's say a user table, what is in there, describe user. And you can see there's a lot of information. Um, let's see for the user, some of the name, host name, user, and the select privilege, insert, and then update. Not, uh, look at all the privileges that are there, drop and everything. So all the privileges that you want to give it to a, a given user is on this table, uh, right? So root is one of them. Uh, Wahid was not a user that is uh, there. I could do um, create the user identified, uh, user Wahid identified by password or alter it afterward and then uh, set the password and everything and then give and grant um, these privileges execution and uh, connect and everything to the database, then I can connect it as regular user. At this time, only root has access to this. So if I say, um, select the star from um, user, um, user, this is going to show all of them where um, user and user is equal to root. Uh, so only show me the root uh, connection. And you can see here the local host uh, root is the account. Yes, all of the privileges that is a flag. Yes, 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 yes. That means that the, the root has all the access privileges for this uh, one. Whether it's update privilege or insert privilege or select privilege. Notice the user is root and then everything else does update, insert and other ones or all yes there. So if I just uh, only select a couple of them, you can see host user and select privilege. Let's say I do the same thing, it says, um, uh, select a user uh, host uh, select underscore prev from a uh, user, and then you can see that there, those options are all there. And then the accounts that are there is user's root, says, and, and uh, mysql.session, mysql.inform, uh, info schema, and then sys maintainers, those one. So that, those are there. If I wanna just say, for example, update, uh, update prev, you can see that there, uh, that one is also uh, as, uh, root has all of them, yes. So if I just say, uh, select um, insert underscore prep, you can see that it's uh, insert, the T is missing. And then you can see that it's also for root is yes. And you can say um, order by um, uh, user. And then you can see since it was ordered, ordered by user, you can say descending and then uh, user uh, ordered by um, ordered by by uh, descending ordered by user descending. Yeah, descending has to come afterward. Uh, ascending is by default. So order by and then or group by the username, the field name, and then the descending. That's how the syntax works. It's good that I still remember these commands after 20 years or something <laughs> that I haven't touched it. But because I taught a few classes uh, every now and then and I work on the system for a long time, even though I haven't uh, touched my SQL for a few years or maybe 
several years, I still remember and the structure for language commands pretty well. So if I just want to do that one, I can create a table based on this uh, information here. I could say create a table and then say, for example, the table name is user uh, info, for example, whatever you want to call it as, and then uh, put this one uh, as select all the way to this one with descending order and then bracket and then this. Now we created a table info, a user info. So now if I say describe user info, this is a table here. Uh, describe user uh, or user without the user info, whatever you name it, you have to use that one. So now you can see that that uh, table is there. I could say select a star, um, sorry, um, somehow I opened another terminal and select a star uh, from a user info. And then you can see that uh, that information is the same as if I created uh, a field or I mean a table based on those five fields. Okay, since I don't need it, I'm going to say uh, delete or drop, drop a table and then user info, and that will be done. Commit, now it's uh, there. Show uh, tables, the user info is not there anymore because I whatever was in the schema, I just created, left it as it is. So uh, I'm going to exit out of this one. Um, exit. I was uh, thinking that I'm inside Python. So when you do inside Python, this exit with the parentheses, you are uh, getting out like that. So um, this is um, very cool that we just installed MySQL and MySQL admin and everything on Linux Ubuntu. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something out of it. And um, I'm going to end the video here. But before I end the video, let me just walk you back again to my web university, the channel. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so and make some uh, nice comments. And um, I'm uh, also uh, getting some information from users that they're asking for certain things. One of the user last time asked me for set an off and I did that video. Another person uh, was uh, actually one of my students at, Pasadena City College, he all already liked the class uh, that I taught at Bash Shell Scripting, and he needed some help on find command and uh, find an exact. So I just uh, make these videos that uh, could help any students, any person on the development, and uh, please uh, enjoy it, learn it, and uh, take care, have uh, fun, and uh, have peace in the entire globe.